Welcome to the first iteration of Wastewater Whiteboard. Uh, for those of you who follow me on social media, this name actually popped into my brain right before I recorded it. And I realized that uh, Whiteboard Conversations was a little clunky and not as descriptive as I would like for folks to understand what I'm trying to do here. And Wastewater Whiteboard had just a better ring to it and better marketability to get this information to folks who need it. Um, so that's what we're calling it. <laughs> and this project's five weeks old. My YouTube channel is only five weeks old at the recording of this. And I'm still kind of figuring out how things uh, should look. And so I, I appreciate folks' patience as I kind of change things around and, and find out what works best for me and what works best for the channel and, and the people who watch the channel, you guys as well. So our first topic on this series is BOD versus COD. What are these two things and how do they relate to each other? And the reason I'm doing this video is I had these questions. And um, in, in the United States, municipal waste treatment, we focus a lot on BOD and CODs kind of glazed over and talked about a little bit in the manuals and, um, and the tests kind of touch on them, but then it's kind of, eh, it, it's not so much a focus. And I want to bring it into focus because uh, it's good to understand why we differentiate between these two and where they're used. Um, and so when I was studying, uh, I had a real hard time. Um, the way I learn is not so much reading books and big technical manuals and just, you know, really understanding everything I read. How I learn is by seeing and listening. And so to understand COD, I actually went to podcasts and YouTube channels from different countries and industrial treatment plants and understood a little bit more about this. Uh, because in, in municipal waste treatment, the only reason you'd use COD is for process control. It's not a reportable uh, thing. You don't, you don't report in COD, you report in BOD in the United States. So what, what is BOD? BOD is biochemical oxygen demand, and its definition is the amount of oxygen required for the microorganisms to consume the waste in the wastewater. What, what, what does that mean? Well, they need, they need to, to breathe in essence. Okay. So they need oxygen, um, to do their job and without that oxygen, they die. So these are, remember, these are a lot of our processes are aerobic. So meaning they need oxygen. So these, these bacteria, they need oxygen to do their job. I know I'm, I'm kind of going on and on about it, but I'm trying to connect the dots for you. So it's, they need oxygen to consume the waste. We need to make sure they have oxygen because if they don't have it and that oxygen demand is still there when it goes out in the environment, uh, the dissolved oxygen that's present in the environment in lakes and streams and things like that will get sucked out and you'll have fish kills, you'll kill lakes, you'll kill streams. Uh, a lot of bad things happen um, if, if high BOD water goes out into the environment. So that's why we're targeting BOD is to stabilize it so that, you know, the, the, the place it's going, the, the effluent from your plant doesn't have an adverse effect on the environment. And so we use a five day test to determine what BOD is. And that can be kind of problematic because, you know, you don't really know if you've got a process problem for five days. And that's, that's kind of not a comfortable place to live, especially if you're in a big plant sending out like 150 million gallons a day. I mean, you can really mess some stuff up in five days and uh, the, enter COD. So what is COD? Well, it's a it's like BOD, except instead of just the biodegradable stuff, it, it includes the chemical constituents that have an oxygen demand on them as well. And so that's that definition. It's all the chemical com components in the water that have an oxygen demand. It measures all of it. And this versus a five day test is a three ish hour test. So you're actually going to get a good idea of what's going on in your water, your influent or effluent in just a few hours instead of five days. So this is, uh, the five day test is your official BOD test is, is used for reporting in the U S for municipal waste and your three ish hour COD test in big plants. You're not going to see a lot of this in, um, you know, hundred thousand gallon a day plants. You're going to see this in hundred million gallon a day plants. These are used for process control in U S municipal plants. Uh, the other place that you're going to use these, is in industrial plants. So a paper factory is going to, or a paper mill is going to have a lot more COD things to be looking for than a municipal waste stream. Why are we looking at municipal BOD and municipal waste? 
Well, we're looking at the poop and the pee, the organic stuff. Why are you looking at COD in an industrial setting? There's not a lot of poop and pee in there, but there's a lot of other chemicals that you need to make sure are stabilized before they go out into the environment. Okay. Uh, BOD consists of carbonaceous BOD, carbonaceous biochemical oxygen demand, and nitrogenous BOD, NBOD, nitrogenous biochemical oxygen demand. And this might be written as BOD5. Okay. It's a five-day test, BOD5. CBOD and NBOD. And we're going to get into how you measure those in an, in, uh, an advanced math lesson uh, later in the channel. Uh, so, so these are what you're measuring when you do a BOD test. And the chemical oxygen demand is typically going to be 1.3 to 1.5 times higher than BOD. So just know for your test that the COD test is typically higher. And it's, and it's done in just a few hours. So you just need to know that if, you know, your target, let's just use a quick example. Your target BOD for your effluent is 10. And this is in municipal waste. I, I know I'm saying that a lot, but I'm just trying to remind people that this is, I'm using this as an example for a municipal waste treatment plant. Say your, your target BOD for your effluent is 10 milligrams per liter. And you're, you do a COD test and it comes back as 10 milligrams per liter. Well, good, you're, you're actually lower, theoretically, than your target. But if you do that COD test and it comes back as 30 milligrams per liter, well, um, you might have a problem and you might, might, it, it's just a trigger to say, hey, look closer um, and catch it before it you know, really becomes a problem. So that's kind of just a quick overview of these two. Now we're going to discuss the lab procedures and how they differ. And I'm going to get into the weeds on, like I said, on this and the lab procedure when I do the math video. Um, it's probably going to be a while from the publishing of this video, but once I do get it up, I'll put it in the uh, links below in the description. Um, so the lab procedure for the BOD test is to, uh, you get several different dilutions and using distilled water and you uh, put in a seed into that water, like a seed of microorganisms, and then you aerate it somehow, like shake it up. Um, some people, you can bubble it if you want, I guess, but uh, the, I think the most common form of aerating is shaking it up. If you're a lab tech and you do it a different way, please put it in the comments below. And you measure the dissolved oxygen level, okay? Then you put it in an incubator at 20 degrees Celsius for five days. And at the end of the five day period, you measure the dissolved oxygen again. And you do this across all the dilutions and there's parameters that you have to meet. And if it's not within a certain parameter, you toss it. Or if it's outside the parameter of, of dissolved oxygen, uh, drop or not drop, it gets tossed. I'm not, I'll get into that in the math problem. But you take the valid dilutions and then you average them out. And then you do a little bit of math and it spits out your milligrams per liter BOD. Because it's the, what you're measuring is the dissolved oxygen depletion. Because what are we talking about? Oxygen demand. You put microorganisms in there and you see what they, what kind of oxygen they needed to consume what was left in your sample and in that sample dilution. Okay. Um, that is the you know, bird's eye view of the BOD test. COD test. This lab procedure is uh, uh, quite different. Uh, what you do is you uh, acidify the sample and you, uh, you heat it up. Um, you, you well, you put in potassium dichromate and then you heat it up. It's, it's called the digestion process. And then uh, it sits for a couple hours. You let it cool to room temp. And then you titrate uh, uh, the excess dichromate into uh, a solution, a different solution. Of, 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 I think it's an iron-based sulfur. It's like ferrous alum, ammonium sulfate or something like that. I, I've never done the test. I'm, I'm using book knowledge here to get you through the, the procedure so you kind of understand. Um, you use this constituent and then it hits, a, once you titrate to a certain color, um, that gives you the idea of how much dichromate is left in your COD sample. And so you just measure the dichromate at the beginning, you measure the dichromate at the end, and you have your chemical oxygen demand. Um, so uh, if you have any questions about that, please uh, ask in the, in the comments below. If you're a lab tech and you do COD tests often, uh, please uh, uh, comment, let us know. Uh, what, what do you do? Um, how do you measure these and why do you do a COD test? Are you in an industrial plant or uh, do you use it for process control uh, to compare against your BOD tests? Uh, so that's all, that's really all for today. I wanted to give you a good example or a good, a good compare contrast between BOD and COD and help you with some definitions and concepts 
for your exam. Like I said, any questions at all, comment below, please. Uh, find me on LinkedIn. Uh, you can also message me there. My, my LinkedIn profile is in the description below. And if you got any value out of this, please like and subscribe. Send it to people who need this information for their tests. Um, this type of stuff up here is grades one, two, three, class C. This stuff, grade three, sorry, grades one and two, class C. This is like grade three stuff for, um, I had a, on my grade three and four, I had to do a BOD math problem. Um, and nitro nitrogenous BOD really starts showing up on the higher level exams. Okay. Have a great day, everybody.